Hi YouTube, on today's episode we're going to look at the Goten Mesh. This pairs with your phone and it allows you to communicate off-grid. You need no cell phone service, no satellite service, and no Wi-Fi. This is completely independent and the benefit of this over the previous Gotenna or other services like a handheld radio would do, this can relay through up to three other devices. And I would like to go over this. This is the box. In this, every kit, the, the base configuration you can make are two. And this is compared to an iPhone. This is not a plus, this is a standard iPhone. In this box, you get two Gotennas. They have different colors. They have a green, a blue, they have an orange, and they also have a purple. Inside of the box, in addition to two Gotennas, you have two charging cables, and you have a sticker. You also have the basic instructions to plug these into a power source with these cables and then you download the app and you pair them. The way you charge these are basic USB. You plug in and then on the side here there's a USB connection. And you'll see the light turn red. When these are fully charged, the red light will go away. The other light these have are a white light. And when you are pairing, that white light will indicate the status of your pairing. And based on the website from Gotenna, these take about one hour to two hours to get a full charge. The discharge time is around 24 hours of standard use. That means that if you can get an hour or two of solar on a panel or a small charger you can carry in your pocket, with those one or two hours of charging, you can get up to a day's worth of use out of this. Some basic specs. These are a one watt UHF radio. They use a micro USB connector. The Bluetooth is Bluetooth Low Energy or LE. It is Bluetooth 4.2. These are weatherproof, they're not waterproof, but based on the manufacturer's website, they are very durable. They can handle, as their writing says, fun with all kinds of rain and grime. And the build is very strong. They seem small, they might look cheap, but they feel very rugged. This connector that's on here is a very nice plastic rubber feel to it. The way that you adjust these are you can push down and it slides right off. And then just like a, a snap on some pants or a shirt, you take and slip it on. On the back side, the cable comes over, goes underneath this piece, and then same thing on the back, same kind of connector back here. The basic unit's pretty simple to see what it is. It is an antenna. It has a battery built into it, a way to charge it, and then the battery is right here. The huge benefit with these are that you can relay through devices. You can go from the sender, for an example, this would be me as the sender. I can relay up to, through, up to three of these Gotennas anonymously. I do not have to know that person. And they don't have to do any settings. This right now is turned on, and if someone is trying to communicate with someone through Gotenna right this minute, this acts as that device, and this can send through the air. I don't have to do anything, know the person, know where it's going. I cannot see anything that's going between the two. And when they send the message, it'll go through one, two, a third, and then to the recipient. And I emailed Gotenna to make sure that was correct because there, I could not find anything concrete online that said how many relays you could go through if needed. And that is a huge benefit because if you are hiking, you can carry this on your bag and carry this, carry your phone with you, Android or iPhone. And 
You might not have any cell service, but you can relay through the woods, through someone, and then the next person could be on the mountaintop, just hiking through the park, and then another person can be on the other side of the mountain or hill, and then your recipient, your intended recipient, can be even further away from that based on what the range and the topography is for where you are. And that is really nice if you're not, if you are in a situation where line of sight is not an option. And the same thing works in a city. If you are in a uh, concert or a large event or a camp, a, uh, a shelter, and there's no cell phone service, you can take these and then you can still text and send your location to someone else with a Gotenna. And that way you can still know where each other are. You can still communicate even if there is no infrastructure. This comes into play for disasters. And in an example like Key West, Puerto Rico, Mexico, a lot of places have been affected lately. You can take one of these and keep them all in a bag, keep some way to charge them, like a, a Sherpa 100 or some other kind of battery that can accept multiple USBs, charge all of them up after the event has happened, and then the next morning, and make sure all your phones are charged up as well, then you can go and do your recovery effort. You can do your, uh, your security, you can go get food, you can go get water, you can go check on friends and family, and pair these with people throughout your area. The reason it's nice to have a device that can pair with your phone that is completely independent of any kind of grid is during a storm or natural disaster, or if there is not one of those events, but you're at a concert where the, the infrastructure is being hit with hundreds of thousands of people. This allows you to text and send your location either to a group or one person to one person, or you can set this up with other people with Gotenna's in your area on a blanket message to send out. And you can also send out emergency messages on these in that same fashion. Gotenna Mesh has a website. It's very helpful for these devices. And the reason we decided to go with Gotenna as another form of communication is because they have a website that shows a map internationally of the general area of where these are. And there are many that are hardwired. There are many that are left on constant power, either with solar or plugged into a household outlet. And it gives you comfort to know that if you're gonna go somewhere and you are with your, uh, your family members or your preparedness group, whatever the situation is, you can do a little bit of pre-planning and know that you have the ability to communicate off-grid if needed in those areas. Just like in WhatsApp, this gives an indication of a message being sent and received. Another perk with Gotenna Mesh is they have a program that has a yearly subscription right now of $10 and your first 30 days are free and it'll let you download maps to your phone. If the internet goes down and the cell phone network, Wi-Fi are down also, it allows you to have a map on you that is a topographic map and a standard map that allows you to navigate and see where your friends are when you are sending them your location. That's not having to go out to Google and try and find that information. It's already on your phone. If you do not have the ability to relay from mesh to mesh, you can send over SMS. You can get group delivery notification. You can send location tethering, whereas where you can automatically send your location to a trusted contact every one, five, or 10 minutes on a regular basis. And then you also have trip statistics where you can track and save data like speed and distance and elevation traveled. And those are really good perks for $10. The reason that we are looking at that at Plus specifically are for the maps. So we can have maps downloaded to our phone and topographic maps, and also that we can have SMS relaying in case we can go through our Gotenna mesh, but there still isn't, that person, the recipient is still not close enough to go mesh to mesh. And that way we can go and relay through 
the now traditional network of cell phone towers and then go back to a GoTenna mesh. These are really good for a few different reasons. If you're an early adopter and you like to know new technology that's coming out on the market and see where the future of communication is going, or you're into emergency preparedness and you want to have a way to communicate in still fairly modern conditions with the cell phone uh, and not have to change that much, or you have someone in your family like teenagers that don't want to carry around a radio, they can keep this Gotenna on the side of their backpack and still use their phone. It's just another form of messaging. It's like using WhatsApp instead of iMessage versus Facebook Messenger. It's just another form to send messages. And it's very easy. And uh, if you're looking for something that is more widely accepted than the other mesh networks that we could find, this is the best option we could look for. The, uh, the amount of people that are looking at getting this or already have it or government agencies that have purchased it is huge. And that's one of the reasons we went with it is because this is everywhere and this allows us to communicate fairly confidently if there's a disaster and the network goes down. This is the GoTenna Mesh and we'll put links below for iMeshU, which is their map uh, service that lets you see where GoTennas are. We will link to the prices for these. They sell them at this point in time in a two pack, a four pack, and an eight pack. And there was an issue with shipping early on uh, when they were getting off the ground, but now it is very quick. We ordered these on Sunday. We had them in our hands on Friday. Uh, and I just can't say enough good stuff about them. These are great. They are. Um, they're a great lifeline if you are looking for something to communicate. Now, these are not gonna go across the world. These are definitely for a local area, but that local area is still pretty big. If you relay through up to three of these, that's a large area. And the ranges differ. On another video, we're actually gonna go and I'm gonna work with Nikki and my wife, and we're gonna see how far we can go point to point. And then we're gonna start setting up a few of these and see how far we can go with three in between in an urban and a rural area and get some real testing around here, around Dallas and, uh, and see what, how they do. But if you're looking for something to communicate and you want a reliable method that is easy to charge, easy to carry, the user interface is easy. Once it's set up, you can see the battery on this. You can see that your text is sent. You can send your location and it's very simple. And uh, if you are looking for something like this, I definitely recommend the GoTenna Mesh.